an apology and money to the most high-profile victim of botched police work. It was NFL player Nate Allen's wrongful arrest a couple of years ago that began to pull back the dark curtain, hiding the unthinkable at the police department. For your Corners, Adam Pinsker has more. With the stroke of a pen, the city of Fort Myers forked over $440,000 in a settlement to NFL safety Nate Allen after he was wrongfully arrested by Fort Myers police two years ago. The mayor offering an apology. I apologize to you that this is even an issue. Issue may be an understatement. The police department's wrongful arrest of Allen led to the firing of the chief and a wider investigation conducted by the former director of the FBI, Louis Free. And these heavily redacted but newly released documents from the U.S. Justice Department confirm much of what the Free report found, a culture of corruption, internal investigations that protected cops accused of wrongdoing instead of finding the truth, officers leaking information to criminals, witnesses murdered, and drug trafficking rings allowed to continue to operate. When we asked the mayor about those bombshell findings, he was tight-lipped. There, there's a lot of investigating going on and work to do on that. And it's just totally inappropriate for me to try to speculate. Instead, he said the city was committed to making the changes the former FBI director Louis Free said need to happen. I think the council and myself are uh, intent on executing on the 32 recommendations. Allen and his attorney Sawyer Smith wanted to add their own suggestions to the report, which would establish a nine-person commission to make sure the department stays clean. By presenting the city with a memorandum is we gave them a list of suggestions by which we believe the city can lock together all of the consultants that they're spending a lot of money on so that as the city continues to repair its police department, they can do so in a way that's comprehensive. So the police department now has a new chief of police, but Fort Myers is not the only agency that's coming under scrutiny. The Justice Department findings uh, mentioning a Lee County Sheriff's deputy. They say that that deputy allegedly allowed drugs to be sold out of, of a patrol car. Now we did reach out to the Lee County Sheriff's Office to get comment about that. We'll keep you posted on what we hear back. More now on how things went down with Nate Allen. You might remember it was his arrest in 2015 that drew a national spotlight to the Fort Myers Police Department. Police wrongfully arrested Allen, accusing him of a crime he didn't commit. The department then recommended the state attorney's office prosecute Allen. The state attorney ended up slamming the police, questioning the legality of how police handled the whole thing. The mayor now making it very clear Allen's case was a big mistake. Uh, what the council was clear on and what I want to be clear on is that Nate Allen is a first class human being and he didn't deserve this, a legal process that uh, did not unfold in appropriate ways and that's not the way uh, we're going to run things in the future. Tonight, Nate Allen's attorney did tell Four in Your Corner that there needs to be an independent commission to monitor the police department on an ongoing basis. A Port Charlotte man will now be spending the next seven years behind bars for child pornography.